Hey there, this is James with Plugin-Review.com, an isotropic agency, and in this video I'm going to be running through a premium plugin called Webinar Press. Uh, there's a free version, we're going to be going over the pro version features, and basically what it allows you to do, it allows you to offer webinars through your WordPress website, and webinars can be really great lead magnets, uh, stuff that establishes you as a leader in your field, a way to collect email addresses, stuff like that. Um, if you are thinking about offering webinars, this is really the perfect solution for you. So you can offer live webinars, you can offer recurring webinars, you can offer paid webinars through WooCommerce, sync it to email, uh, a lot of incentives, call to actions during the actual webinar, stuff like that. So you can have your live webinar through YouTube Live, uh, Zoom, Hangouts on Air, stuff like that. You can also have a recorded video play as a uh, quote unquote fake webinar that plays live that people will come and join uh, and I mean you can also sell your tickets as I stated above uh, through WooCommerce and whatever payment processor through WooCommerce you may have you can do members only webinars uh, call to actions during the webinars stuff like that and as soon as we go through the payments uh, stuff of things I'm going to go into the back end of this and discover the features that it has to offer on the back end and then also run through the front end uh, and review the branding uh, design stuff like that so here are a lot of the integrations that it will work with as you can see there's a lot of mail uh, stuff WooCommerce YouTube they don't mention uh, zoom here but you can also do zoom webinars it's translated into 25 different languages and the base cost of the plugin is hundred ninety seven dollars per year and that gets you a uh, license for a single website if you need multi websites it's four ninety seven per year as you can see uh, the free version is extremely limited as most free and paid uh, setups are uh, and then with the the paid version you get access to the recorded webinars recurring webinars paid webinars member webinars stuff like that so really if you're looking for a solution you're going to have to go the paid route uh, and it's 197 dollars per year they got a 14 day money back guarantee so if you uh, are on the fence you can try it out uh, and if it doesn't work out for you you can get your money back so now i'm going to go to the back end and take a look at webinar press in the back end so Creating a webinar, uh, we made a test webinar. Creating the webinar is very easy. You simply click new webinar and you'll end up uh, on the same interface as this. And under this webinar, enter your title, what the webinar is about, the description, who's hosting it, uh, the webinar URL. And this is because this is a pre-made webinar, it has generated a permalink, but um, if you were creating a new webinar, you would paste in your link here. And I'll show you that actually um, by creating a new webinar. So as you can see, you can do a webinar type live, uh, one time, recurring, just in time and right now. Uh, and you can choose your source. So you could do a pre-recorded video on YouTube, YouTube Live, Vimeo, Twitch, Mixer, uh, Wisha, Zoom, Jitsi, uh, and then also this would work with Google Hangouts, uh, Embedded, iFrames, really anything that you would need to stream video, this has it. You can also charge people for the webinar. We don't have the WooCommerce integration set up, but uh, if we did, you would be able to set a price for the webinar and people would have to go uh, to a WooCommerce checkout and pay the set price for a ticket to the webinar. Uh, and then as you can see, there's really a lot of different features that you can access. Uh, regarding design, confirmation, countdown, the webinar itself, the replay itself. Uh, and then you can also do access control. So you could set it for individual users and individual roles, send it out to a mailing list through the integration uh, with MailPoet, uh, Mail MailChimp and stuff like that. And there's really a lot of possibilities here. You have email templates that you can set. Um, so say you turn this off, you can set your own uh, email template. And uh, that's pretty much all you get on the back end. So as I said before, we made a test webinar right here. Um, so once you've published the test webinar, you'll get your permalink. Um, and this is what you're going to share to people to register. This is the permalink for the test webinar. 
um, and you can set it to count down to when the webinar is ready to go. Um, and then you have your description here. It's a very simple landing page interface. And you can also put this registration box via a short code anywhere you want. So you don't have to use this automatically generated page. You can use your own page yourself. To access the webinar, you'd enter your uh, information. And then if you have multiple instances of this webinar, they would show up here. We only have one, so that's the only choice. Clicking register will lead you to your congratulations page and it will send a confirmation email to the email that I just entered saying you're registered for the webinar. And then it will remind them when the webinar starts to come and join. Um, because this webinar is set to play in the past, so we're recording after 11 a.m., uh, we can take a look at the backend interface of the webinar. So we've registered for the webinar and say it's Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020, 11 a.m. So it's time to go to the webinar. We'd get a email notification saying that it's time to go with a link and clicking on that link would bring us to this webinar right here. And as you can see, uh, you have your interface and this will change minimally depending on if you're doing a live webinar, if you're doing uh, a pre-recorded webinar, if you're doing something with Zoom, anything like that. But the styling and basic user interface of this is the same in all regards. Right here is where your video would play if we set up a YouTube Live or if we set up any pre-recorded stuff. Um, so this is where the video would start. This is the title of the webinar. Um, if you're waiting for the webinar to begin, it says starting in uh, yada, yada, yada. And then if it's pre-recorded, you could hit the start webinar button. You can leave the webinar interface. Uh, and then here is something that we really like. Uh, it's the live chat feature. So you could enter a chat, any user could enter a chat. So say you have a hundred users in here. If I posted test two to this chat, the hundred users would see this chat. And it shows that I'm the leader because I'm a team member. Uh, additional people could enter their information uh, and you could moderate by deleting messages. Here you can ask questions uh, and raise your hand. Here you can see the connections to the webinar. Uh, so there are two instances of me in this room. So you can see that there are two of me. Uh, if you have a million people in here, you'd see a million people there. You can set up the, uh, because we're running the webinar, you could set up the tabs that are displayed. Um, so we can turn off chat, we can turn on chat and in the front, uh, in the front end for a typical user. They wouldn't see the people unless you turn this on. You can enable hand raising kind of like Zoom where you click this uh, and the moderator of the webinar will see that the user raised their hand and be able to call on them. And then you could set up your call to action. So if you're trying to do a lead magnet, uh, say you're doing a webinar on wholesaling real estate and you have a course that you're trying to sell, you could set up your call to action on the back end, uh, which would say like, come join our, come pay for our course, uh, something like that. And then the call to action, you could turn it on and it will say, come join our course right here, click on it and it will send you to whatever link you have set up. So that's the basic webinar user interface, uh, front end and back end. You can exit the webinar. Uh, as you can see, it's a really well-designed, well thought out thing, very customizable. You could take this register now box and put it anywhere. Really good webinar like interface with a live chat. Uh, which you don't really get on anything else. Um, there are a couple other things that we can run through. There's a registration widget, so you can make a new registration form and then place it anywhere with a short code. You can view all attendees who have ever registered for your um, webinars, and then you can add it to a mailing list. You can export it. You can email them from there. You can view all the chat logs of all of your webinar um webinar experiences. So you can, uh, if somebody said they posted something a month ago, you can run through and test, uh, check for the post a month ago. If you have multiple webinars, uh, you can sort by the webinar. You can view the questions. Uh, you can also head over to settings and set up global settings here. So very basic, uh, well-designed, easy to use webinar stuff get a lot of settings. You can set your global email um, email templates. And then once again, uh, I'll show you the 
this is your registration page, and then this is your webinar page, and then you can go right into the webinar. Uh, so basically, that's what this plugin does. It allows you to easily offer well-designed, well-thought-out webinars um, to your audience. And if we go back here, there's a lot of expandability in this platform. You can use really whatever video provider you may have. You can set it to run multiple webinars at once. Uh, recurring webinars, the just-in-time webinar would run every so on minutes. You can set up a live webinar. It's really whatever you want. You can also um, add these individual things here. So uh, Vimeo, Twitch, Mixer, Zoom, Jitsi, and then uh, RTMP stream, which you would use Open Broadcast System to uh, do something like that. So it's a very uh, powerful, easy to use, well-designed and simple webinar plugin for WordPress, uh, $197 per year. If you are driving high ticket leads with uh, webinars, which is typically what your webinar would be doing, uh, this is well worth the price. And compared to other offerings out there, uh, the value that comes with this, I think is industry leading. Uh, and we might be incorporating this in some of our future uh, endeavors. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to this video and also check out our full review over at plugin review, plugin-review.com. Uh, Have a great day.